supplementary question. Uh, no, the member cannot take a point of order. The member cannot take a point of order. I do not recognise the member. He will now leave the chamber. Indicated the member that I will not call him when he is not properly dressed. The member will resume his seat. A point of order. Your Do memo made reference to those that have cultural attire. You have allowed other cultures to wear what's right for them. Why are you denying Māori culture, their attire and his heitiki? Um, the, the expression that is used in the standing orders is business attire. Uh, business attire is something on which I have consulted. Um, the members chose not to respond to the consultation. Uh, that, is, that is their choice. I have uh, been guided and will continue to be guided in these matters uh, by the views of members, I'm not absolutely required to do that, uh, but I do want to make it clear uh, that the significant majority of members who responded uh, made it clear that ties uh, were part of uh, business attire. Uh, and and um, we could have a long discussion on this, uh, and I have had it in my office with a number of members um, and as I've indicated uh, at least twice to the House, uh, my own sympathies are with an abandonment of ties, uh, but that is not the view of members who responded. Supplementary question. Uh, no, the member cannot take a point of order. The member cannot take a point of order. I do not recognise the member. He will now leave the chamber. You did advise that uh, that business attire, and what I'm wearing is Māori business attire and a Māori tie. Uh, I stand here before you today in that manner. The second part of your email also talked about a 2017 review of standing order supported members dressing in formal wear of the cultures they identify with. So that's why I stand here with the standing order at this particular time, Mr Speaker. Okay, I've, I've noted the member's comments, so he hasn't convinced me.